We see houses as architecture, as a composition of form and space that are sentient. A suburban house is basically a bunch of wood framing, you know, and a kind of a pattern of rooms stuck together with no conceptual basis, right? It is not architecture. It doesn't try and be architecture. Basically, I would, I would see the suburban house as a kind of instrument of capital a kind of uh, mass-produced way of minimizing the work input to maximize the gain. That, that's all good, we like capital production, but you also have to, as an architect, take that and turn that into uh, art. You can make a building that produces capital that is very successful, even more successful, if it is also art, if it is also a beautiful place to inhabit, it, it can actually give you greater returns. It's a kind of a bare bones vision of capitalism as opposed to, you know, well what if we made it uh, something excellent, would people value it, mm -hmm. right? So it's, a, that's, it's, it's the Walmart of, uh, <laughs> of uh, building. It's, a, it's also a displaced vision. I mean, it's a vision from 1950 and at that time we didn't know that the problems associated with modernization fully, right? It was a good thing, you know, it was freedom. Freedom from the by, by virtue of the car, access to light, access to fresh air, access to greenery, the freedom to move from city to country was all new and exciting. Now you drive through and it's basically a continuous mass of suburb with a little few pockets of farmland sort of left over, but still in the process of being destroyed. So the original connectivity city to country that was dreamed of is gone because the country's gone.